New tonight, the Reading Fire Department is dealing with staffing shortages made worse by some firefighters having to isolate with COVID-19. Action News Now reporter Ryan Caney shows us what the department is doing to solve the staffing problem and ensure public safety. The Reading Fire Department told me right now they have 11 vacancies due to a combination of retirements and adding new positions here at Station 7. They also have five people on injured leave and another five on COVID isolation. While the department hasn't seen any change in response time due to low staff, Reading Fire Chief Jared Van Landingham has considered a contingency plan to better cover the city. It would include shutting down some stations and reducing the minimum number of firefighters per engine from three to two. We have not had a, uh, a chance or opportunity to have to do that, which is good. Uh, so we've covered the city with all these vacancies right now. And we just hope that we can get some of these folks back from injury leave and back from the COVID isolations. Firefighters are being asked to take overtime to cover vacant shifts, but many know that sacrificing days off and time with their family is part of the responsibility they have to keep the community safe. I've been doing this a long time and I, and I, and I know what's coming. You know, my family's important and, I, and I, you know, they're, they're you know, the priority in my life, but uh, I try to come in when I can and, and make it work for the department. The department has enough applicants to fill their 11 vacancies and hope they can get through the hiring process in time to join before fire season. And if we get all those folks through the backgrounds, our academy will start in March and we'll plan on graduating them uh, sometime uh, late April and getting them ready uh, for the fire season before June, hopefully. To help with the staffing shortage, the Reading City Council voted to apply to a grant that would add an additional 12 firefighters to the department, but they won't know if they're approved for the grant until at least April. In Reading, Ryan Caney, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. The Reading Police Department is also going through similar staffing shortage problems. An RPD official told Action News Now today that they've been aggressive in trying to fill their vacancies and it has not impacted response time.